pray that um have y'all I wanna have y'all pray that the nothing stop me because I wanna try to upload another video after this man and if I can squeeze one more in then I'll do just that. Um so um yeah man um just as promised I'm gonna give y'all the scriptures um for eating right and, 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 and staying healthy under God man I'm giving y'all the scriptures for eating right um, and staying healthy under God, man. Um, if you can turn to open your Bibles, you know, pause the video if you must, if you got to. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, um, turn to Leviticus chapter 11, and God tells you all the unclean and clean foods that you can put into your body. Um, that's Leviticus chapter 11. And God tells you about all the foods that you are supposed to eat and not supposed to eat so that you can stay in shape for yourself and maintain a healthy size under his name, man. Because um, remember what I told you. Remember, um, Satan does not want you in shape because Satan knows that if you're not in shape under God, you can't hear him as well as you should. You know, because a lot of y'all, um, God has been talking to y'all all day, 24-7, even in y'all dreams. And um, you, you haven't been able to hear him because you're not in shape. You know, you have been eating the wrong foods. And um, Satan is, 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 is enjoying that. Satan is laughing because he's stripping you away from the Father via the foods that you are eating, via this spirit of hypocrisy that's in the church because most pastors don't want to tell the truth. And, um... Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's doing a lot to you, man. It's killing your walk with God. And let me tell you something more about this spirit of hypocrisy, man. Um, You, you know, it, and it's, it's so dangerous to the point where, man, you can have this spirit of hypocrisy on you and nothing can happen to you. You know what I'm saying? But just because you got the spirit of hypocrisy, it affects everybody else around you that's inside of your families, man. It affects your families. So just for an example, man, I use myself. If I still had the spirit of hypocrisy on me, you know, my family members would probably be getting cancer, um, diabetes, and all that kind of stuff, man. Um, you know, just going through hell on earth, just getting punished by God because um, I got the spirit of hypocrisy and there's nothing wrong with me. You know what I mean? Then, then later on, God could hit me and curse me with something because I got the spirit of hypocrisy and that was plaguing me, you know, but, but it affects everybody differently, man. Everybody don't get the same curses and diseases, man, um, via the spirit of hypocrisy. So I, I've told y'all, man, it's, it's dangerous. You know, and, um, you know, I, I gotta go in depth about it more in my, in my videos, man. Um, later on so that y'all can um, understand the truth about this stuff, man. But just for um, sake, we back to the to eating right, man, and staying in shape, you know. And, and, and I'm glad that God had me go to college, man, to take the class because before I changed my major, I was in nutrition, man. And we was talking all about the right foods and the calories and stuff that you shouldn't eat. And um, um, I'm going to have another video strictly on dieting, you know, for God, you know, because he tell you what you're not supposed to eat in the Bible, um, and, um, fitness and stuff like that, you know, you know, and, and, and calorie burning, you know, and I'm going to tell you about the calories that you really put into yourself, man, because, like, you know, you look at these calories, you look at these drinks and stuff that y'all drinking, man, like sodas, Pepsis, you know, Sprites, um, all that stuff. You see the calorie intake on that stuff, man, that's destroying your knowledge in God, too, because you drinking soda, and it's holding you back, and, it, and it's clogging it, and Satan is laughing because of that. You know, you, you see the calories on these McDonald's sandwiches when you go to these food fast, um, mm, fast food restaurants, man, and Satan is sitting back laughing at that, saying, I said, I did a good job receiving me y'all. You know, y'all eating that stuff, and it's, it's, it's killing y'all knowledge in God, man, um, there's a lot that go on with this stuff, man, I can keep naming it, man, you know, um, you know, you, you um, shoot, you know, restaurants like Chick-fil-A, you know, um, Five Guys, uh, um, shoot, you know, all these unhealthy places, and, and they got it, they got it, y'all, they got it set up like this on purpose, man, if you look around, if you was to look around, it isn't eating healthy expensive, yeah, it is eating. Have you ever wondered why eating healthy is so expensive, man? Why you can't just go to the store? Why you can't just go walk around and just try to find something healthy to eat? 
you know, and, and then the thing about it is, if you if you do have the money to afford eating healthy, you still got to watch yourself in a certain degree. You still got to fast under God. You got to get the greedy spirit out of you so you don't want to eat more the um, greed spirit. Um, because, um, if you do eat too much, you know, you put in chemicals, um, that they done sprayed over the plants, over the stuff to keep the bugs off of it that come from the, the farm. You, you eating too many chemicals and that is destroying your knowledge in God also, cause we're not supposed to be eating chemicals, y'all. That stuff ain't supposed to be coming inside of our bodies, man. There's, there's chemicals in the water and all that stuff, man. So, you know, y'all gotta be careful as to how y'all eating y'all foods, man, cause stuff ain't what it looked like, man. Say this, I told you, man, this is Satan's world. This is Satan's playground. And um, he is the king of deception. So um, he got everything wired and set up like this on purpose, man, so that he can deceive and destroy y'all and take y'all to hell. He got y'all thinking that um, y'all living for yourself, like y'all really got a life, but really you pick two sides, man. You're either working for Satan or you're working for God, man. And there's people that's out here that's unwillingly knowing um, that they're working for Satan, man, but it's that easy, man, he tricked y'all, he tricked y'all into, um, most of y'all into selling y'all souls, and now you're working for the Satan, um, mm, working for the serpent unwillingly, and, um, that's how stuff gets started, man, that's how God get pissed, man, um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, man, you know, this, the truth, the truth about a lot of this stuff, man, it, it's, I told you, man, it's, it's, it's not pleasant, man, it's not pleasant, and, um, you know, an interesting thing when I was reading this scripture, you know, Leviticus 11, um, you know, God told us not to have anything to do with owls. You know, if you look at that, if you read it with an open eye, God is serious about owls, you know, and, and then you look and say, well, why is God so serious about owls? Man, God is serious about owls because he knows Satan loves him some owls because owls remind him of himself. And, and see, owls are nocturnal creatures, man. They, they're nocturnal creatures. They can see in the dark and that reminds Satan of, of himself because he operates race in the kingdom of darkness so that's why these people believe that satan is the light you know his demons and his demands they be working for him and stuff because they can see what you can't see in the darkness you know they they know they know secrets they know the truth that you don't know and, and that's why they run to satan because they out here killing folks and and, and, and y'all don't know how it's happening but I'm, I'm going to expose the truth to y'all man i'm telling you man because god been feeding me the truth if anybody got anything to say about it God got the last word, and he ain't going to have people out here just killing themselves and selling their souls to him, man. He, he ain't standing for it no more, man. He never did stand for it, but, you know, stuff got to stop, man. Stuff got to change, man. And, um, man, I, I got more videos to do, you know. I'm always going to keep popping with the videos, man. I'm never going to stop. But, um, you know, I, I got to tell you some more about this scripture, man, um. Um, you know, God even tells you, you know, if y'all got kids, if y'all got kids, if you turn to Leviticus uh, 12 and 13 and stuff like that, you know, I can't remember for real for off top. You know, he tells you about skin diseases, you know, so um, if you, you know, so you can save money from the hospital. If y'all build a, um, a close relationship with God close enough, if you build one close with him, he'll tell you, you know, let's say if your kid is outside playing and he gets a scrape on his arm and, and you don't know how to treat it, you know, um, um, or something like that, or, or it may be something serious, like a real injury, and you think it's going to get infected, okay, God tells you how to take care of that, you know, instead, instead of you having to go to the hospital, God tells you what to do, you know, or let's say, you know, your, your son, um, you know, he, he didn't really mess himself up, you know, you know, he, 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 he didn't destroy himself, you know, and it looked like the injury is unfixable, you know, God tells you what to do, you know, um, he tells you how to heal it. You know, if you get a relationship close enough, he'll tell you what to do, man. So you don't have to keep going to the hospital no more, man. Um, um, anymore to get cured, to, to be cured of this stuff, man. He, you don't have to keep doing it. You can save money, man. Messing with God, you can save some money, man. So, uh, you know, that's the cool thing about God, man. I told you God is cool. All God want people to do is just live longer because he hate to see you kill yourself, man. Your father care about you. You know, I told you our father cares about you, man. And um, he just want to see you live long, man. Live right and, and, and do right, man. You know, um, 
But, um, man, yeah, man, God, you know, and I don't want y'all to be pressured into thinking that you have to eat right. I don't want y'all to be pressured. This is something for people that have grown themselves in God high enough, okay? I just want y'all to understand, when you've grown yourself high enough in God, you know, one day you're going to go to try to eat something, and um, your stomach is going to start hurting. You know, your stomach is going to start hurting, and you're not going to know what it is. Remember in my last video, you remember when I told you I can't eat pizza no more because uh, my stomach was going to start hurting? So, look, y'all, this is what you do. You don't go to diets on TV. Stop messing with the world. I told you this is Satan's playground. Stop messing with that brother, okay? Because he's, he's, he's playing you. He's playing you. Okay, you turn to the Bible, turn to Leviticus 11, and um, God tells you what you should eat so that you can start feeling better because, you know, God has made your body so clean. He's made your, you know, he's cleansed you of your sins, man. And um, just as the result of you growing yourself so high in God, you know, the foods like this are cursed, you know, so you can't really eat them that much, that, mu that much more any anymore because they're unclean. Um, so, um, they're going to start making you sick because your body, your temple, your, um, your holy temple, because, you know, our bodies are holy temples in, in the eyes of God, you know, it has became so holy to the point where, you know, it can't nothing but holy people be around it and can't nothing but, um, healthy eating withstand, you know, you, you can't do nothing but eat right and fast right under God. So, you know, that's all I want y'all to know, man, you know, to, um, and also y'all got to confess to God if you having trouble exercising because you don't feel like doing it, you got to confess to God that you're lazy so he can get that lazy demonic spirit up out of you, um, that comes from Satan, man. He can get that stuff up out of you so that you can live right, man, and, 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 and eat right, man. Um, you know what I'm saying, man? So as yes, you can exercise right and, and do what you got to do um, under God's name, man. Um, but like I said, man, I'm, I'm just going, you know, this ain't going to be a long video today. You know, if, if I can make it to 20 minutes, you know, it ain't really much to talk about. But um, I'm, I'm going to try to come back with, with another video because and, and I got something, man, me and God was talking about earlier, man. Um, you know, and, and the next lesson is, you know, how being perfect. Um, how acting like your life is perfect before God can, um, can really, can, can really, um, piss God off, you know, how acting like life is too perfect can get you in trouble with God, man, and I've seen this firsthand for myself in life, so, um, it's not cool, y'all, it's not cool to act like everything is all good, man, you know, you know, like, like I told you, man, this spirit of hypocrisy, man, is crazy, um, because the thing about this spirit, man, you can have this spirit on you and nothing could happen to you. You might not be catching no diseases. You might not be catching cancer or nothing like that. But just because you have the spirit, it's, um, it's affecting everybody around you. So, so, so it's bringing diseases to them. And just because you're not a hypocrite, I mean, just because you're a hypocrite, you're, you're killing your family members unwillingly. And you don't even know it. So that's what this spirit of hypocrisy does, man. It um, it it kills the whole family, man. It, it kills them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then slowly, you know, afterward, after you've been a hypocrite for so many years, man, what it does is it comes back and it starts attacking you. So now you're having problems. Now you're going with diseases. Now you have diseases and stuff. You know, after you then cursed everybody in your family with the diseases, now you got it. So that's why I said, man, being a hypocrite under God is not cool. You know, um, I'm so glad that my family has been lost. I mean, seriously, man. You know, my, my family is lost right now. In a way, I'm, I'm kind of glad because I don't have to deal with that spirit of hypocrisy mess, man. You know, my family not acting like they living for God. You know, they, they know life ain't perfect, man. Um, and um, just because they're not doing that, God is not cursing us like that. We're not really running around with, with, um, with cancer and all that, with all that other stuff, man, because that's what happens via the spirit of hypocrisy, man. Um, you know, you know, but, um, but at the same time, God still has cursed my family anyway, because, um, we, we aren't living right. You know, my family is very materialistic in a way, you know, because, you know, they got the greed spirit inside of them. And, um, you know, I don't know what else my family has done on the other end. I don't really know my family like that, to be honest. I haven't really met them. And, um, that's cool, you know, because I don't really need to know them. But, um, um, <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it is what it is, man. But y'all got to be careful. I'm going to go in detail. I'm going to tell y'all how Jesus Christ was really a black man. Because everybody thinks Jesus is white. You know, Jesus was never white. That's a lie that the devil has put up in your mind so that you could think Jesus Christ was white. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, man. Um, Jesus was not was not and I repeat was not white you know what I'm saying so um his name wasn't even really Jesus y'all but uh I'm gonna go ahead and um let y'all go man um I'm gonna go ahead and um let y'all go man because like I said my family ain't living right neither and, and guess what man God is still you know cursing my family even though they're not living right but the worst kind of curses that you can get upon your family is the the spirit of a hypocrisy curse, man? That that Satan loves to hit people with. That loves that you know. And, and it ain't even it ain't even Satan, man. It's just it's just people, man. It starts with people first, you know. Once they start telling lies and they keep lying and they start compromising the truth by acting like they're living for God, and then um, turn around and, and start living unholy, they conjure up that spirit inside of themselves, that hypocrite spirit. And then what happens is Satan starts controlling other spirits to, to start coming to your life. He starts, it brings the devil to you. And, um, you know, it's just not cool, man. Other demonic spirits and demons be start trying, trying to mess with you, man. Um, and, and you don't even realize it. You don't even know it. And, um, you know, you know, you <laughs> Hey, hey, man, you know, see, this is the type of stuff that I'm going to be breaking down, man. I'm going to have a video, another video strictly for, for spirits only, for spirits. And um, I got to talk to my, you know, today I'm going to make a video for, for the ladies. You know, I'm going to come back with, with a video for the ladies so I can build some encouragement about yourselves. Because I got to, you know, and be ready to be hit with the truth, ladies. Be ready to be hit with the truth. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to you raw. I'm going to give it to you raw. I'm not going to hold back. You know what I mean? I'm not going to hold back. And, um, you know, the truth is the truth. Um, but we're going to need y'all to toughen up a little bit for God. So with that being said, you know, um, um, I'm going to go ahead and pray real quick. Y'all can join me if y'all want. Um, Father God, thank you so much for, for getting me to this point, man. Um. I pray that, you know, each and everybody that's watching these videos, man, I pray that they can spend some more time with you, man. I pray that they can make more time with you. I pray that I myself, because I haven't even been, you know, spending as much time with you this week, you know, as I should, as I have in the past. I pray that me, myself, and me and you can um, start to spend some more time together. I pray that nothing comes up and nothing stops me from spending more time with you, Father God. And, um, you know, um, I, I, I just pray that I know I ask you to forgive me for my sins, my, my, all my sins, man, that, that I have done wrong today, all my, um, all my sins, you know, you know, that I, that I have made, but without my knowing, without me knowing that I've done wrong, I ask that you forgive me for my sins, um, and, um, you know, even though I ask you to forgive me for my sins before I came up here, I, I, I'll do it again, you know, cause man, you know, sometimes, you know, we, you know, I do stuff throughout the day and I forget that I'm sinning. So I'm asking you to forget, forgive me for, for not knowing that I'm doing wrong, man. Um, so, um, you know, um, God, I apologize if I have sinned against your name. I apologize if I offended you in any way today, man. Um, I just need you to know I need you more than ever. And, um, I, I can't leave your side, man. Um, won't ever leave your side. So in Jesus name, I pray. Amen. And, um. Um, y'all, um, you know, it's, it's cool that you know Jesus, like I said, it's cool, man, but, um, you gotta be careful with this hypocrite thing, man, don't do it to yourself, don't, don't destroy your family, don't, 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 don't tarnish it, man, don't, don't kill your walk with God, man, that's all. I want y'all to know, man, but, but get ready for my, my next video, I'ma tell you about, um, how being perfect can, can, um, can get you in trouble with God, how being too perfect, how acting like your life is too perfect can get you in trouble with God, man, in a second, I'm going to upload it today, so pray that the enemy don't stop me, so, um, yeah, man, um, keep, put God first, y'all know what y'all got to do, man, be easy, man.